Oh me, oh my, oh, oh me, oh my, guys. I tell you what. So, a lot of you know that I've been under the weather here, but you know what? I love doing this show, and there's a few things you're going to notice during this show that I want to brief you on right away. Okay. First, at some points during the show, I may appear to be out of breath. That is only because I am out of breath. That's, that's why it appears that way. Secondly, the fever is reduced, so I am my normal self. At least I seem that way. And then thirdly, there may be some coughing, so I have my bottle of water right here. I have that, and uh, so I should be good. All right. Example, you might see a lot of breaks like this. I, I'll hit, like, the mute button, like, and then it'll be back. All right, let's say hello to our chat here. We have... Michael Bimko, who can play again tonight. Michael, you can play again tonight, so he's ready to take home the gold, if you want to call winning the gold, I guess. We have Steve, Residential Basics. We have Old Handy Luke. What's up? We got Justin Henning. I can feel the coughs coming already. We have Will Justice, Fix It HVAC, which I do believe is our friend Georgie. Georgie, if I remember correctly from your Gmail or whatever, I think it is. Deontay Wilson with a bunch of laughy faces. <laughs> uh, I don't sound well. Well, you know, I'm not going to sound well. You know, I'll, I'll go ahead and, uh, you know, this, when I made the video about being sick yesterday, at that point, you know, we didn't know what we were sick with. But, you know, it does turn out it is the coronavirus because my son tested positive for it. So this is a corona stream. We are having a corona stream tonight, guys. So you can say that... Uh, we fought through coronavirus and played skilled trade up. So that's a good thing right there. Wesley Waldrop, what's up? Chris Forsyth, the Santa Man is here. Greg Miracle, what's up? So we have a lot of people in the chat tonight. So we have a lot of people to potentially play. So here we go. We got HVAC Dragon. Guys, the Dragon is back. All right. Breathing break, which is one of the downsides. I know people would ask, what's it like to have coronavirus? It's not too bad for me. 
a little out of breath, a lot of coughing, a lot of fever, not very high. You know, 102-ish at the maximum, 102.7 I think it got up to, which isn't low, but it's in the middle there. So, hand sanitizer. I look forward to being totally immune now for at least a day or two. <laughs> uh, all right. So, all right, guys. So, I'm not going to mince words here. We're going to see how this goes. I'll tell you one thing, though. If it gets to be difficult to do it, we'll just do the one group. But if I can make it through and not be wheezing and coughing, which I'm, you know, I'm not so far. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? It, it could happen at any moment. So, beware. If it if the stream just dies, it's because I was hacking and falling on the floor. So, hopefully that won't occur. I don't suspect it will. I think we're going to have a good show tonight. It's going to be all right. It's going to be okay, guys. Just hit a few things real quick. Our champions so far that is going to go on to play in the like a super skilled trade up. As soon as we gather a few more together, here's our champions we have so far. These are just guys who made it all the way. No, no, that's not the champions. I'm sorry. That's last week's champions. The show has less prep this week too. I'm very sorry. Here are this week's champions. These are the guys who have gone to level five, so they're going to be in like the champion game, like they do on Jeopardy and stuff. Richard Williams, Georgie, Batch of Cookies. Steve Demansky and Adam Hai Chi. Those are our champions. All right, this is our blacklist of people who cannot play the game this week. Richard Williams, Georgie Batch of Cookies, Steve Demansky, Adam Heiss. Oh, I'm going to say this name wrong this time. K.O. I, I knew he said it last time, and I, and I can't even remember now. Chow, I know that's wrong. Scott Savage, Craig Egan, and Dave Weaver. You guys can't play because it has been... You know, whatever. It hasn't been a month yet. So, if you're asking yourself and you're new how to play this game, here's what happens. At the first commercial break, I'll play one of our sponsor commercials and put a link in the chat. You hit that link to come on the show with me. The first four people get to come on the show with me. The other people have to try again next time. Those people will answer trivia questions. If they get it right, they keep going. If they get it wrong, they leave the game, basically. And there's a, an array of prizes they can win. And uh, there's no skill trade-up. You're not going to lose prizes. You're not going to lose any prizes. Whoever wins gets to accumulate prizes. And if you lose eventually, like you have one guy left, he gets one wrong on level three, you get to keep all those prizes he's accrued so far. So it's really, really good. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello? All right. So let's go ahead and get after it. I can say a whole bunch of stuff about signing up for the live thing, which you probably should do. There's a, there's a lot of links in the description. Here, I'm going to hit them all at one time. There's a lot of links in the description, okay, from supporting the show all the way down to watching our other YouTube channels to listening to our podcast. Check them all out. If I put out a YouTube show, it becomes a podcast in some way, shape, or form, so you can listen to it at work, listen to it while you're driving in your van or truck. I always drove vans. That's why I say van because I went out on my own, then I had a truck. So in your van or truck. All right, I'm going to put the link in the chat. I'm going to do that right now, okay? Here we go. And once the game starts... I'm going to shut off the chat so they can't help the guys in there. So here we go. I'm going to do paste. Here's the link. You guys can start coming in. I'm going to play our commercial, and then I will be right back. The best forced air zoning controls in the HVAC industry come from EWC Controls. This includes the Workhorse BM Plus 3000 zone panel, three zones, multiple dip switches, so you can customize the controls to your particular system install. Another workhorse of the system is the URD and ND dampers. These power open, power closed dampers are both reliable and long lasting. So for the entire life of your system, you won't be replacing your zoning components. And lastly, the innovative SBD2 static pressure bypass with the wireless NFC interface. Take this whole thing to a new level of precision and reliability because you can set your system right there at your fingertips the particular static pressure you need. No more guesswork, no more barometric arms. Go to EWC Controls Incorporated. You can find them online to learn more and look for them in your local supply house. Alrighty then, buy a bunch of EWC stuff, life will be great. Okay, here we go, guys. We have a bunch of creative names that have popped up. I like y'all's creative names. Santa's Elf, I knew who you were before he even saw your picture on the screen. And uh, let's go ahead and bring in the top four here. First, of course, the person with the lowest latency on Earth is Michael Bimco. What's up, man? Hey, Zach. 
Hey, you ready to play this game again, huh? You've been chomping at the bit, right? Yeah, I'm hoping the the little ones will stay occupied enough to let me get through this. So, I'm sh hey, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, it'll be alright. It'll be fine. Okay, we're gonna. Here's do hoping. This. Okay. okay, here's the hoping. I think it's gonna be fine. All right, now to play against you, Bimco, is of course our friend Santa Claus. Santa Claus, how's it going? Good. Man, you're so much quieter than Bimco. Bimco's mic is so loud and yours is so quiet, but that's the kind of fun stuff you get into when it's live, and that's all good. So, you ready to win it this time, Santa? I'm hoping. Told you I'd have a different outfit on. Hey, you, hey absolutely. I, I, I respect the heck out of that outfit. <laughs> that's awesome. Bimco's going to get onto his children. Remember, Bimco, hitting a child is fine if it keeps them quiet, okay? I'll just close this nifty little flap. And nobody knows. What? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, yeah, the nifty flap. Yeah, but you can hear screams and stuff. You do know that, right? Well. Oh, I got you. No. All right, All right well, do your business. All right, the next person we have in there is, uh, let's see, Wes Waldrop. What's up, Wes? Wes, you're muted. And oh. he disappeared. We have a lot of people that get stage fright at the last moment. Let's see here. We have now... D justice, D justice, <laughs> what's happening? Hey Zach, it's Will. I figured it was you, Will. Is uh, is D your wife or something? Yep. All right, I solved the mystery. What, is that is that her? She's all all all. Yep, yeah, that was her in the background. <laughs> all right, you can see the she lags also, about three also seconds. My chief apprentice. <laughs> All right, well, you guys are the only ones that showed up here. Uh, we only got three people. There's like two other people that just disappeared all of a sudden. So we're going to go ahead and Come start on, the game. Man. I mean, I got to start the game while my uh, Pulse Ox level is above 90. So that's where we're at right now. So we're going to go ahead and get it kicked off. You guys ready to play with these great odds now? Everybody got yes. their paper? Sure. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to actually say the words for me to start this game. You know, everybody's like... Ready, set, go. <laughs> ready, set, go. Go for it. All right, here it is. We're going to do it. We're going to get our first question ready. Remember, I'm going to read the questions twice or until I lose breath, and then I'm going to do a countdown from five, and then you have to have your answers held up to the screen. Remember what I said, Bimco. Little, little tap never hurt anybody, all right? <laughs> go old school. Tell them, hey, tell them they're going to be on the naughty list, and the man himself is in here playing. You think that works on my kids? No. <laughs> well, it sounds like some non-believers to me, Santa's elf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's our first question. I'm going to read it twice. Count down from five. Have your answers held up. A, B, on, C, Will, or D. Is Will okay? Uh, Will has quite a look on his face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't think Will's okay at all. Will, are you still with us? <laughs> <laughs> this game, Will, your internet has crapped the bed, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get you out of here. Here, sorry, sorry, Will, we couldn't hear you. All right, so it's down to two. Hey, that game just got a lot easier, didn't? <laughs> it's a fifty-fifty shot. Will. <laughs> so bad. All right, we're gonna we're gonna rock and roll here. Here's our first question: Santa versus Bimco, the grudge match of the century. Here we are. <laughs> Stack effect can also be called A, chimney effect, B, blowback, C, Boyle's law, D, none of these. Stack effect can also be called A, chimney effect, B, blowback, C, Boyle's law, or D, none of these. Five, four, four, three, three. Two, one. All right, let's see. The answers are on the screen there. Um, and I do realize something that I can keep everybody honest by just not showing the screen again until I see all your all your letters. There, yeah. And uh, <laughs> look at you guys. I'm going to go ahead and play the right sound because you're both right. What a bunch of smarty right. pants. All right. Good job. So let's see what you guys have just won. You won yourself a nice husky utility tote right there. You can, if you want to think of it as like a Vito uh, TP2, that'll work too. 
I think I just made that up. I don't know if there is a TP2, but if there was one, that's what it would look like, more than likely. So there it is, you guys. I know you want to win more than that, so here's what we're looking at winning this round. It's going to be that nice TP2 Ooh. slash Husky, whatever, whatever, some wet rag. And uh, if you like drinking the bottled beers, we got yourself a bottle opener right there. But don't drink too many. I mean, act responsibly. All right? Definitely, you, you especially, Santa, you have standards to uphold. So... <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's question number two. You guys are going to get this, no doubt. Here it is, and good luck. The tiny red button on the side of an oil burner combustion blower is A or an, A, overload, <laughs> B, voltage adjustment, C, airflow trim, or D, clutch. <laughs> what? Your kids are out of control, bro. <laughs> hey, he's trying to Swiffer, man. <laughs> you, you bought yourself Let some extra clean. time. Let him clean. The Jesus. tiny red button on the side of an oil burner combustion blower is A or N, A, overload, B, voltage adjustment, C, airflow trim, or D, clutch. It's a uh, button and not a, a dial? It's a button. Three. Two. No, whatever. <laughs> Best of luck to you, Santa. All right, so uh, both of you guys wrote A. So either you're both right or you're both wrong. So you got to feel good about that. <laughs> and, I feel bad about it, Zach. <laughs> well, you know, you're right. It is an overload. It's just like uh -huh. one of those little overloads. You know, when the when the overload trips, it pops out, and you have to reset it by pushing it yeah, back. Yeah, manual in. reset. Yeah, that's all it is. So I just don't ever call those overloads. So it is a motor they're... overload. It's a, it's an overload. Oh, it is. A... Mm -hmm. Huh. So. Yeah, there's no oil for it. People are like, I can assume it's an overload just because I'm, you know, I imagine what it is. But you guys are doing great, man. You're going for level three prize now, bro. Here's, hey, look at this, man. Ooh. You get a transfer pump, a husky thing. You can open I your like beers. That. Which which one? All right, Bemco, which one of those things is actually the most appealing to you? Well, I feel like you've got like a whole like party kit here, damn near. I mean, you can pop your beer with the bottle opener. <laughs> I like where you're you can going. Use, use the pump, you know. And then uh, you got a, a nice little carrying bag for all of it. And you can put the wet rag on your forehead to absorb all that heat from you drinking. I like the fact that you, I thought you were going to go with, there's your beer bong, bro. You know, I could just see yeah, that one right there. It's not quite a bong. I mean, it's a pump. So it I guess you could pump. pump it into the bong. I don't know. You, could, yeah, you could pump it into a person <laughs> is what I'm saying. I like where your, your head's at. Though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. All right. Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask Santa. Santa, which one of those things do you like the most? That's more of a mature answer. So good job, Santa. That's that's the answer you need to have. <laughs> that's very good. And at Bimco, you know, like, let's do a party, bro. Cookies in the cookies in the in the husky. So. Oh, I like that. There you go. He he loves Christmas, man. It's fantastic. Come all right. It's all it's all good, man. It's all. Hey, all of us have kids. I don't know if Santa has kids or not, but I have plenty of kids, so we understand how it yeah. works. What's that? Yeah. You have what? Do you what? Thank you. Did you say grandchildren? I do. I have one grandchild that's nine on someone's. What the Good hell? Good grief. You look like you're 30. Yeah, how old are you, man? I have a, I have a 23 year old son and a 19 year old son. And how old, are, how old is dad? Um, I turn 39 next Friday. Well, you oh, look great. Oh, uh, you started early. That's it. <laughs> okay. I, well, that I was like, dude, you're 30 something. You're younger than I am. Good grief. It's impressive. All right. All right, Bimco. Bimco smacking one of his kids on the head there, so he's back. And uh, this, sir, let's put it on right. Let's put it on straight, so we don't have to. You know, we don't want that to cost us the game, do we, Bimco? Sorry, sorry. Here goes he's our getting the remote, man. <laughs> hey, that's all right. Here's our third question. Oh, here we go. An exterior-faced two by six wall will typically be insulated with this R-value bat insulation. A, R11, B, R13, C, R19, or D, R30. An exterior face 2x6 wall will typically be insulated with this R value bat insulation. A, R11, B, R13, C, R19, or D, R30. Five, four, 
Let's take it with my gun. Two. One. Well, you you guys' guts are perfectly aligned because you both put C. And I'm going to change it to D, man. <laughs> well, C is the know. right answer. So you guys Woo. are exactly right. Look at you. You're, uh, you're like one mind. we got to break that mind apart. Let's find a hard question. Good grief. You guys are good. <laughs> that was hard enough. No, that was labeled medium. I, I label questions easy, medium, or hard. And the hard ones are like ones that I have no idea what's going on. I mean, these are the ones that I never would have known unless I looked them up. So let's do one of those. That'll be fun. Level four, gentlemen. We're going to add some tie downs, some diagonal pliers. So you have all the, you know, this is like the utility kit right here. It really is. You can transfer Calvin, fluids. Calvin, take it to him. <laughs> Sorry, good. It's everything. It's everything you need to get the job done right, right there. It's everything you need. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's incorrect, but you know, you know what I'm saying. So let's find you a nice hard question here that'll uh, test your limits of HVAC knowledge. I think we have one right here. Yep, let's do this one right here. I don't know if this is hard or not, but uh, you guys will let me know here in a second. When all wires are removed from a potential relay, the ohm reading from terminal one to two should be A, near zero, B, 10 to 50 ohms, C, 50 to 100 ohms, or D, open line. When all wires are removed, from a potential relay, the ohm reading from terminal one to two should be A, near zero, B, 10 to 50 ohms, C, 50 to 100 ohms, D, open line. Five, four, three, two, one. Shit. Dude, I don't, I don't know. Don't show him yet, man. Hold on. I, ah, God. All right. Hey, Bimco, write your answer down. Don't have anybody. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's what I'm going with, though. All right, let's see. I don't know. We have a B and a D. I just, I don't know. Uh, I've well, never put in a start kit, a hard start kit, Zach, so. Well, Bimco, I mean, that doesn't stop you from studying this stuff, right? You got to yeah, study. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's like ball breaker. <laughs> Come here, bud. Uh oh, what happened? Let's well, the, oh, he's mad. The good news he's is fun. neither one of you have to sacrifice huh. anything because both of you got it wrong. <laughs> so we still have to keep going. Of course, we're still on the same level uh, <laughs> with prizes. But uh, <laughs> yeah, what was the answer, Zach? The answer was near zero, near zero, because ah. it's maybe it's basically a closed contact at that point. So oh, one okay. to two. Okay. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, it just it uses it sends its current and then it it uses open. back EMF from the motor that is starting, and that actually goes to the contacts on the coil. So that 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 uh, generated yes. electricity that they the motor know. produces back feeds and does its job that way. Gotcha. Makes sense. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Sounds like a good time. Yeah. All right, so let's do another one of the you uh, you heavy hitters because <laughs> either you're both going to get it right or both get it wrong. Evidently. Okay. So we got to get one of you to get something right, and one of you get something wrong. And here, this is what we're gonna do. What? 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 Where is he going? You know what he needs? He needs. Uh, That's the question. That's the question. Is he playing video games? I'm gonna put on a show for him. Okay. Uh, what? What the world is he doing? <laughs> we run it through the Xbox. Let me just give me a. Go ahead. Hey, sure, man. We're not doing anything. Go ahead. Hey, I'm, right, I'm listening. I'm right here, Zach. <laughs> it's, it's like, I thought you wanted us to hold on so you could put the show on TV. I'm like, dang, Bimco, oh, no, no. you're demanding. All right, here we go. All right, here you go, you rascals. When do you get this right and when do you get it wrong? Do me a favor here. Here we go. Which of these bad. is not a compressor hard start kit? A, the Rector Seal KS1. B, Compressor Saver 521. C, Supco SPP6, or D, White Rogers 90-293Q. Which of these is not a compressor hard start kit? A, the Rector Seal KS1. B, Compressor Saver 521. C, Supco SPP6, or D, the White Rogers 90-293Q. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, see, let's see what we have here. And both of you put D. 
<laughs> oh man. You're both right. Well, you're both right. <laughs> Absolutely, you're both right. Dang on it, you guys. All right, we're going to level five now. Level five. One of you guys is going to be a champion. We're going to give away the upright Midwest snips along with all the other stuff that we have here today. So congratulations on that. And let's see if we can't get one of you guys to pull this thing out. This will be should be our final question. Bim Bimco, you must have muted your mic. Yes, I did. Thank you, sir. <laughs> it was unusually quiet for a second. I didn't hear anybody screaming or drop kicking each other, so that's good. All right. Now, which one of you is a uh, residential? Which one of you is commercial? I'm residential. Commercial. All right. This may be a little bit more difficult for the commercial person. So, Bimco, you have your work cut out for you. They're all difficult for me, Zach. Well, <laughs> this one may be added difficulty. So let's check this out. This is hopefully our final question. Let's check it out for level five. Five. Oop, that's the wrong button. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel Why well. Leave me alone. Uh, what best describes the compressor of a Heil HV H8 heat pump? A, single speed. B, full variable speed. C, five stages. D, three stages. What best describes the compressor of a Heil HV H8 heat pump? A, single speed. B, oh full variable speed. C, five stages. And D, three stages. And we're going to count down from probably four now because I already hit the button. Four. Yep. Oh, uh, God. Two. One. I like this one, Zach. I feel right. really bad about this. All right. So you guys said A and B. So there's two separate answers. That's good news. Woo! That means we have the potential for having a victorious person and, sorry to say, someone who's not victorious. So if we look at the screen again, you guys said single speed and full variable speed. Unfortunately, it's five stages. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to we're going to try again. Oh, man, you guys. Man, whoever wins this, man, you get a high five and a trophy or something. I'll get a trophy craft at a local sporting goods store or something. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm going to go to an easy question. <laughs> so, so it's all relative. So here, here is your easy question for deciding this massive conflict. HVAC equipment matchups, and I seem to spell that mache, <laughs> a French matchup, I guess. HVAC equipment Matchups that use propane and a heat Touchdown pump for down, heating. <laughs> Pro, uh, propane and a heat pump for heating are specifically called a a biflow system. All right, you guys both had the right answer on the screen already. All right, watch this, guys. We're just gonna stop the music. It's the right answer. <laughs> so you made it to level five. Okay, so whoever wins wins level five. You get to go be in the champions thing whenever we play for whatever it is, a bigger prize. We just got to get one of you to get something right and one of you to get something wrong. We're going to use all the questions on YouTube, which might make my night easier. I'll be like, all right, I'm heading home after this. <laughs> all right. Let me give you another question here. Let's see if we can't get this thing decided. Bimco versus Santa's Elf, the match of the century. Hell in a Cell, the two of them. Here we go. A 10-inch metal round duct that has air flowing at 700 feet per minute is allowing how much CFM to pass through? A. 255 CFM B. 382 C. 478 D. 550 I like to hear Bimco breeze in short bursts whenever we read questions like this. <laughs> A 10-inch metal round duct that has air flowing at 700 feet per minute is allowing how much CFM to pass through? A. 255 B. 382 C. 478 or D. 550 5 4 3 Come on, Bimco. Two, put something on the screen, bro. 1 <laughs> All right. I am happy to say that this game is now over, judging from the answers I see on the screen. So, wait, you put it down. You got D and B there. So, Bimco says D, which is 550, and Santa's Elf says B, which is 382. And um, 
I'm sorry to say, Bimco, but Santa's Elf has won this one at 382. I don't know, Airflow. Back. After, I think, what is that? 100,000 questions, or roughly, I don't know. It felt like 100,000. So you have won Santa's Elf. I'm very sorry, Bimco. Yes. It's okay. It was a good game. It was a good game. I don't even, have, I don't even know if I have enough questions for the next game because of that. And down to two players the entire time. That was pretty awesome. That's and that was I'll pretty good. Yeah, you'll be back next week. Absolutely. Hey, all I know is whatever computer internet you have, you're allowed to get in here first, like every time, which is impressive. It's because like, all the RGB, Zach. That's why. I don't know if it's because of Rick Bader Ginsburg or whatever it was. Oh, that's RBG. Sorry. Yeah. Not RGB. <laughs> well, on the good news, you can you can go watch TV with your kids now and relax. Yay. <laughs> all right, man. I'm going to let you go. Appreciate it. And, uh, later. Later, man. All right, Santa Zelf, Chris, man, you won the game. You got all those prizes. Just don't forget to email me so I can send you the prizes. Okay, that'll be shipped out tomorrow or whenever. Exactly, well, I can put them in the box. It doesn't matter how much Corona you have. You can put something in the mailbox, and that's easy to do. So I'll ship out your prizes tomorrow, as long as they fit in the mailbox. There's a lot of qualifiers with what I'm talking about. So although you don't need any prizes because basically you have an, a sleigh full of stuff already. So it's yeah, right. It's actually quite selfish if you'd even accept these. <laughs> but I'm yeah, an employee if I, if I want to give something up, so absolutely. So uh, you, don't forget to email me or yeah, email me hvac shop talk at gmail .com, and you will now be in that big champions game for whatever big prize I can uh, put together. Fantastic. Probably in January, I think, because we now we have four or five people, and I, I think I'll probably get six champions, so maybe one more, and then we'll go ahead and schedule that game. Okay. Cool. All right, Santa. I appreciate it, man. I'm gonna let you go. Thanks, man. Take care. All right. That's pretty cool. That was a pretty cool game. I'm actually going to sit through here and actually I'll turn the chat back on, but I have to see how many questions we have left because I've only burst into coughing one time. That's not too bad. So I'm going to enable the live chat. And thank you guys. Everybody who's like the stream, I really appreciate that. That's awesome. That really helps out a lot somehow. I don't know. I don't know how it helps, but uh, it must help. I'm going to go through my questions over here and see if I can't take the ones out that we've used and make sure... Yep, delete the overlay here. What I'll do is I'll, uh, I should put something up on the screen because you're going to see that every time I do that now. Hey, I know what to do. Guys, here we are. You can look at the HST podcast thing. No, that's subscribe star. HST podcast thing right there. So if you're not subscribed to the podcast, you can do that right there. Just think about subscribing while I look through our questions to see if we can play again. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. Yep, I think we might be able to play. I'm deleting all the ones that I can't use again. I don't want to bring a bunch of people in here if we don't have enough questions to let them play. I think we do. I just got to make sure by deleting all the ones and counting them up. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Actually, the dual fool question is gone. I think we do. Okay, I think we do have enough questions to play again, which is good news. I'll get this off the screen here so you don't have to see me moving around all right so we have some more players that can get in here i know adam's in there but he's not quite ready he can't play now yeah santa's microphone was really low and there's not a whole lot i can do on the fly about that sometimes we can do something what i'll do is i'll try to think around that for next time where i can put like something up on the screen like what you guys see like a thumbnail or something because i have to get into the audio settings and adjust it and every time you bring somebody in, it's always different. So it, it's kind of tough to do that. But I'm with you. I would like to hear him a little bit better. Couldn't hear him at all. All right. I see we have Jessica out there. I think Jessica can, Jessica can play. So let's see. Who else do we have out there? Steve can't play yet. All right. We'll, we'll play another game. Maybe I'll take, I'm going to take three in this game just to fill out the screen to make it a little bit easier. Make sure that we don't, we're not left hanging here. At the end of the match, I'm going to go to a commercial. I'm going to copy and paste onto the screen again, guys. Let's see, copy and paste. So you guys can come on in there. Susie, you can come on in and play. I'm going to take three people this time, guys. Three people. And I'm going to play our commercial, and then we'll be right back uh, with more fun. <laughs> The NP4 DLM cordless vacuum pump from Navac features a high performance lithium battery capable of up to one hour of continuous running time. 
Weighing a scant 15.4 pounds, this unit is exceedingly efficient and for technicians, easy to carry and store. The MP4 DLM's twin cylinder operation provides high vacuum down to 15 microns. To save 8% off this product when you purchase, go to TreeTechTools.com and use our Shop Talk discount code. Refrigeration technologies make some of the best HVAC chemicals around, and that includes wet rag heat blocking putty that prevents your vital system components from being damaged while you're brazing. Also, there's nylon, gasket and thread sealant, a variety of uses including sealing up flares, gaskets, and other HVAC joints and connections. Last but not least, there's Viper aerosol cleaner. I use it on evaporator coils. It foams up beautifully, does a great job cleaning. So if you need anything in the HVAC chemical arena, choose Refrigeration Technologies. You can find out more at refrigetech.com and purchase at truetechtools.com. Okay, we're back here, and uh, I don't know, I guess the link didn't pop up the first time. Thank gosh I put it in there, because plenty of folks showed up now. I must have done good. All right, so this is game two here. Game two was always interesting. It's not, I'm just saying that because it is game two. All right, the first player we have here is going to be Doug. What's up, Doug? What's up, Zach? How are you this evening? I am fantastic. Are you ready for victory? Yes, I'm ready. All right. So I wish you luck. And uh, let's meet your opponents here. We're going to have two more people. And the first one, it says Craig, but it's not Craig. It's Jessica. Hi. Howdy, Jessica. It's How's not... it going? Uh, good. Tired. Excellent. Tired from a long day of HVACing? Yes. So what did you do today? Um... Couple maintenances, dryer vent cleaning. Mm. Uh, had fun with an Infinity that had a bad EEV. Well, that's interesting because you said two maintenances, then dryer cleaning, and then like the opposite of that, which is troubleshooting yeah. electronic expansion valves. It's so different than like the first three things. That's wild. So, yeah. So, how many of those have you gotten to work on so far? Stuff like that. Um, that's kind of my first one. That was on my maintenance. Um, so I found that and had to call in some reinforcements because it's brand new VNA. Okay. So who got to, who's your reinforce? Kalos is pretty big now. So, I mean, is anybody we know that comes to help you or is it just one of their guys? Uh, just one of the guys, uh, one of, uh, Brian's sons actually came out. Oh, really? Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Well, all right, our third person here, he says he's old, but he's not, not at all. It's old handy Luke. Hey, you know me, I don't count. You should bring someone else in. I'm an apprentice. Well, you hit the link, and that means you count. So here you are. And so we have old handy Luke versus Jessica, EEV troubleshooting machine, Egan, versus Doug. All right. So let's see who's going to win this thing. Let's start off with a nice, easy question. It's all relative, so I'm sorry if it doesn't seem easy. All right, here we go. Our first question. Good luck to each one of you. I'm going to read it twice, count down from five, then have your answer on the screen, A, B, C, or D. The blower speed taps, although I spelled it tabs, you can really tell I did stellar this week. The blower speed taps on an X13 blower motor are typically powered by A, 24 volts B 120 volts C 240 volts or D various DC voltage the blower speed tabs on an X13 blower motor are typically powered by A 24 volts B 120 volts C 240 volts or D various DC voltage get those answers up Five, on the screen four do it, Jessica. Don't hesitate. Two, Put your answer up. One. <laughs> All right. So let's let's take a look at the answers. I can see them from here. Everybody's got it up there on the screen. Keep holding it up there. We have A, B, and A. So Doug says A. Oh, not that old handy Luke says B. And uh -oh. Craig, although better looking than Craig, says A. 
So I'm sorry, Luke, but it is the A's. The A's have it. It's 24 <laughs> volts on an X13 blower motor. You usually have four or five speed taps, although not all of them are used. But uh, there are 24 volt signals. So we're going to say goodbye, Luke. Keep apprenticing. All right. And uh, you'll make it next time. All right. Take care. All right. Poor Luke. He's still apprenticing, though. He'll, he'll get the stuff. And this is a good learning step. So. Doug and not so Craig Egan there. Let's go on to our second question. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this will be a nice change of pace. Usually we have A, B, C, and D, but this is A or B for true and false. So you think it'd be easier. You guys can tell me whether that's true or not here. Just a second. A ductilator makes a friction rate worksheet unnecessary. A, true. B, false. A ductilator makes a friction rate worksheet unnecessary. A true or B false. If any of these words are misspelled, Zach is not responsible. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's see, we have either a true or a false here, A or B. And let's see, you guys both said B, and you are both correct. Very good. Excellent. So, Ooh. definitely. You definitely need both of those things. If you're going to use a ductilator, you got to know what the friction rate is because you got to set it on the ductilator. There's a tab. Yeah. Usually it's, uh, what is it, 0.8 or 0.1. I see people go 0.8 or 0.1, but it's just a guesstimate a lot of times. You want to figure that up with the friction rate worksheet. Like That was a great guess. That was a great guess. You're still here. I have to do a better job of hosting. I know I can't hide behind the fact I don't feel well because I didn't show you guys the prizes. So here's level two prizes. It's going to be... A nice set of groove joint pliers from Cobalt, some Nylog, and some Viper stuff, which I know uh, Jessica and Craig are already like, we can't, we don't want that stuff. We want to trade it for something else. We want... Oh, you know, Craig, Craig loves it. But don't they supply hey, it? What is it? Oh, something like they supply no, it to I'm you guys? Um, I do, but he, his company does not. All right. Well, that works. All right. Okay. So that's the prizes, y'all. Just one and we're going to go on to level three, which is going to be these prizes right here. Same thing except for a headlamp and a nice handheld. I'm going to call it a tactical style flashlight. Not quite sure what that means, but when I see tactical flashlights, they look like that one right there. So let's get you a nice level three question. This one says hard. Let's try this one. It says hard. Here we go. Which of the following brands has not at some point used spine fin evaporator or condenser coils? I'm going to read that question one more time. Which of the following brands has not at some point used spine fin evaporator or condenser coils? A. Train. B. General Electric. C. Carrier. Or D. None of these. Which of the following brands has not at some point used spine fin evaporator or condenser coils? A, train, B, General Electric, C, Carrier, or D, none of these. Get those answers Five, up on the screen. Four, three, what could two, it be? What could it be? One. Look at you guys over there. You both said D. But are you both right? Yeah, you're both right. Man, you guys are the best. Yeah. Because, you know, back in the day... Train and General Electric, about the same thing. It was General Electric, and you had Train, the exact same style. And his old carrier, the round ones, some of them had spine fin coils. And uh, even uh, the most wild thing was uh, General Electric, we went into a PTAC, and it had condenser and evaporator coils that were spine fin, which is really neat. It's a little bit different. Never saw that before. That was the first time I saw something like that. And the only time I saw that. It was a PTAC. So you guys are still hanging in there really well. And we're up to level four now. That's the wrong set of prizes. Ooh. Here is level four. All right. Some Gorilla, glip, gorilla Grip Gloss Grip. It's tough. And a nice <laughs> six-in-one screwdriver, which you can't really see because the group is in front of it. But it's a six-in-one and some Gorilla Grip gloves, which I think are the best. It's the only gloves I've ever used where I could tear tape wearing them, which I think is a great glove. That's my standard for a great glove. No other gloves are as good ever. So get you guys a question here. Here we go. Number four. Here we are. A bath fan's noise level is measured in, and this is specific to fans. A, decibels. B, hertz. C, pascals. D, sones. 
a bath fan's noise level is measured in, and this is specific to fans, A, decibels, B, hertz, C, pascals, or D, zones. Get your answers Five, up on the screen. Four, three, two, one. Let's see what you guys have. I see a couple of Ds. <laughs> Everybody's right. It's stones. If you ever buy a bath fan or install them, it's going to be rated in zones from the nice and quiet fans of near zero zones all the way up to the Brone 688 of six zones that drowns out whatever's going on in the bathroom, which is sometimes <laughs> advantageous. <laughs> I asked for the loudest fan. I'll let you guys imagine why. All right. <laughs> so we went to level four. Now we're on to level five, which means if one of you guys get this right, you're going to be our sixth and final champion on the champion show. And uh, one of you is going to have to get it right, or else the show will never be decided. <laughs> we like round one again. So we have everything that we talked about before, and we have a nice little socket set, which I think is a nice on-the-go thing to have, especially if you're a service tech. It's nice to have a little on-the-go socket set. I think that's nice. So let's get you guys a question here. Let's find out which one of these is left. Hmm. There's not a whole lot of them left. But I think we have the right question here. All right. I'm going to say it twice, and then I'm going to five count, and your answer will have to be on the screen. What is the average per hour wage of HVAC technicians according to Indeed? A, 1826. B, 2314. C, 2899. D, 3245. What is the average per hour wage of HVAC technicians according to Indeed? A, 1826. B, 2314. C, 2899. Or D, 3245. Get those answers up. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's see what we got here. We have a B and a C. All right. Look at that. Two different answers. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you guys, looking at these, you can put your answers down. B and a C, one of those is the correct answer. All right. So it's either going to be 2314 or 2899. And the correct answer is actually from our buddy Doug. It's 23. $23. Good job. Man, you Egan's get close. Now you got there a few times. <laughs> but the good news is you can come back and play again next week. And continue to build upon your family's fame in this game, uh, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm going to let you go, Craig slash Jessica. And uh, you did a good job. And I'll hopefully see you on here again next week. Okay. Thanks. Well, take care, Jessica. Good job, Jessica. <laughs> you beat her, Doug. You got her. You got yeah. her. Okay. Yeah. Uh, level five. That's there at the end. That What's that? I said that was a tough one there at the end. Uh, the indeed average wage. It is tough because, you know, you go to different sources and they'll give you variables of that same thing. Or they'll give you like a yearly salary or something like that. But the good or news is... Or you go is, to different regions, different yeah. towns and so forth, different states. You could go to somewhere like uh, uh, Northern California and have to pay double what someone in my area works for. And it's completely normal because of the different living conditions. But you're absolutely right about that. And the good news, make sure you email me, hvacshoptalk at gmail.com. I'll ship you out your prizes. I think we did really good. Both both of the people won all the prizes tonight, which is really nice. And uh, then you'll come back for our Champions game where we pay for some really big prizes, probably in about a month from now, okay? Sounds good. Appreciate it. All right, Great thank show you. as always. Oh, I appreciate that, Doug. Thank you, and I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one, okay? Yep. All right, Doug, big winners. Big winners tonight. Really awesome, guys. I'm going to turn the chat back on. Thank you guys for liking the stream. I really appreciate that. It does awesome things that I don't understand for YouTube. I think it probably does something good. I'm going to open our chat back up. I made it. I did pause one time while the countdown was happening on that last question. I, did I muted my voice, and I was just hacking my brains out. But I think I've done a pretty good job. I probably shouldn't have said something. You guys would be like, he didn't golf at all. What a big liar. But yes, I was hacking myself. Hack, hack, hack. Okay. So we had a couple winners tonight. Make sure to email me at hvacshoptalk at gmail.com. If you haven't already, go into the description of this video. There's a lot of great links in there. Make sure you're signed up for our live notifications. Because if you rely on YouTube or your memory, it may not work out for you. So each show 
people who sign up for that notification list, I send you a text. It has a link to the show. So all you have to do is click on it and you're watching. It's really, really easy. I send it out about 15 minutes before the show. I want to thank our chat guys, Steve, Jessica, Justin, <laughs> unleash the cracklins, unleash the kraken, the kraken. Has the kraken been released? I think they released a kraken the other day. I don't know how it went for them, but uh, I think they're still working on it. I had a good time, guys. I think we all survived here. Everything's good. Make sure you social distance from me if you're going to drop by my house for whatever reason. And if you want to follow us on Facebook, you can do so at Shop Talk. There's all those links are in the description. I'm not going to die here trying to describe all those links because there's a lot of them. But uh, one way to support the show is just go through that stuff and check out all the stuff you like and subscribe to it. Like the show there. You can donate to the show. There's all sorts of great ways to do that. Um, we do have new hats. I'm going to give them away on the show starting next week. But if you want to buy a hat, just email me and we'll work that out. Um, I'm just going to give them away, though. So just stick around for the giving away part and you could have a hat for free. All right. All right. I'm getting out of here, guys. My voice is about to I'm about to hack again. And I'm going to try to get out of here before I do that. I have my water. I'm going to drink the rest of this as soon as I go to this last outro scene. And uh, I'll see you on Friday night as long as nothing worsens. Keep your fingers crossed for David Richardson and part two of our combustion series, Intro to Combustion, Friday night, 8 p.m. on the HVAC Training Videos channel, which you can find, that's right, in the links in the description. Fantastic. All right, guys, I'm going to hit my button. I'm going to get out of here, and I'll see you on the next one.